All right, so our last RV organization video of the kitchen actually went over really well, a lot better than we thought. So we know it's challenging to get all your things organized in a very tiny space, and the bathroom is definitely one of those spaces because there's not a lot to work with. So today we're gonna walk you through how we organize our bathroom, some space saving tips that we have. Um, so yeah, come on. All right, so as I said, tiny space. So it's a little tricky for us to be in here and film this, but we'll do our best. So we are in a 25 foot Airstream Globetrotter. And so our bathroom layout is specific to that, but there's a lot of things that are common between the different models and the different lengths. So most people have an overhead, separate shelf, and then more cabinets below. So I figure we'll just walk top down. So in the top part here, we, took the approach where we each have a separate bin. So the idea is that those things that you use every single day that you need to be able to kind of use and put away, take out the bin, be able to use it, and then put it right back up. That way it still kind of keeps it contained, but there's kind of some logic to it. And then obviously there's other big things up here that aren't gonna fit in the bin. Um, but that way it keeps all the little stuff from rattling around. Yeah, and then some changes we made to it. Um, we had the Airstream dealership replace the latch because on our first couple of trips we'd get to our destination and we'd find the door like that open um so they were able to replace it with a heavier duty latch it just secures it a little tighter and i proceeded to break it when we first got on the road so bought a replacement and i'll put a link to that in the description um, because it works great and it also works on a bunch of the kitchen um, cabinet so it's a basically a drop in replacement for those um, the other thing we did because I'm tall and I was tired of getting hit in the head with that door was we adjusted it and there's a screw in here up in the top corner there on each hinge that you can turn to basically have that door stay up a little higher and that made it more comfortable for me so if you're what six three two or above yeah anyway so yeah that's the overhead um i think the the one takeaway from this whole video that you should get is these <laughs> containers for organizing this shelf so i can't take credit for this i learned this from um lily's organizing i'll uh put her channel in the description but she lives full-time in her Airstream, but she also does organization, like home organization and home edit stuff. And so this space, for those of you who've tried to find something to fit in here, it's kind of an awkward space, but you know what fits perfectly is the Talenti Gelato, yeah, Gelato jars. So um, they're perfect. So we just did them and just labeled them. You know, we've got Band-Aids, Q-tips, floss, cotton balls. That way, just kind of all of those little things, they fit perfectly in here. They're super easy to get out and just put them back in. I think the next thing to highlight is where we keep our vacuum. So I know a lot of people have asked about where we keep it. Um, and so there's a couple different places in the rig. I think you can store it, but what we have found is actually the most out of the way is to put it in the bathroom. So we've got the Dyson, so it's two pieces. And so we just keep this part on the counter tucked away. That way it can be charging. And then the stick part, we just keep here in the corner. And you can see with it just right there, it just, it, it actually keeps it out of the way. Um, and I think you would argue that even having long legs, you yeah, still Yeah, it's don't fine. It doesn't it get, get in my way. Yeah. So we decided to just have it sitting there versus like mount it. Um, and then when we're traveling, it just gets thrown on the bed. We opted for just a little counter um, trash can instead of trying to put something else on the floor. This mat, I'm gonna sit down, that might help. Um, this mat, this is actually the same one that we have out in the kitchen. It came in a pack too, so. Put the other one here in the bathroom, it fits perfectly right behind here and that way it'll help keep some of the water contained. Um, one of the other things that I did was I took a command hook. And so this is just some of the jewelry that I wear more commonly. I'll just put it there versus um, I have another place in my closet. I store some of my other stuff, but just for the things that you want to get to easily, just have it over there tucked away in the corner. The other thing that we use is the Nomadics 
towels. So we have these for both the hand towels and for the regular towels. And so the nice thing about them is they're just, they're very thin, they're not bulky, but they do a really great job of drying. Um, and so what's nice about it is that they don't take up a lot of space. We also just, we have four towels. So that way we've got our two over here and then I've got, you know, two that are either in the laundry or clean and they dry really fast. I will say the first couple times that you use them, they might not feel like they do. They get better as you wash them. Um, but anyway, yeah, I like them. All right. So sorry, I'm staying on the toilet, but this is actually the easiest. That way we can still see stuff. So in here, um, in these cabinets right here, we basically have four separate bins and we can put the link to these in there. But, um, these I have found fit perfectly in there, but they're also still very easy to get in and out. And so we just have them organized. I've got hair stuff in one makeup in another. We've got medicine, first aid stuff in another one. I don't know what's in the fourth one, but, um, anyway, these just, they're pretty easy to just go in and out and it keeps everything organized and out of the way. The other thing down here, this is where we actually just have some more space and we have some of our bigger bottles. So like our laundry detergent are unique for our black tanks, some pine salt that we put down our gray tanks. I also have a little, um, this is like one of those kind of like laundry bags that I've just put all of our Dyson tools in. That way it just keeps it handy. But this is where we just have some of our other um, chemicals that we might have around that are in bigger, taller bottles. So last thing in the bathroom itself is our toilet paper holder. And so we wanted to just have this all kind of like take advantage of this side of the toilet. We could tuck things away. Um, there's also not the pipes on this side just cause I didn't want to make sure nothing was constantly hitting the pipes, but, um, toilet paper holder. And then we also have a toilet bowl brush. So yeah, silicone bristles. So it doesn't tear up the seal on the toilet and we'll put links to all that stuff. Okay. So next up is the actual shower. So we do just hang our rug on here. Um, just out of the way, just to keep it dry. We do use our shower to shower in. Um, and we flush toilet paper. And I should have said that before. Clearly we've, well, not clearly, we flush toilet paper. I don't put it in that trash can. Anyway, um, so the, the layout in the showers, you know, there's not a ton of room. Um, I've opted not to do the teak mats it's just it's one more thing to clean and then have to pick it up and clean underneath it so there's no reason to and it would make it shorter and it would make it shorter and clearly we have height problems here so one of the first things that we actually kind of upgraded was we put in this oxygenics shower head um it has a couple advantages for us it actually puts the shower head up a little bit higher which as billy has said he has some issues with height in here and so um it helps in that respect it also helps to just create i think a better water stream yeah like, it, it it's a low flow shower head but it feels like it's got more pressure, pressure. behind it yeah so it's actually it's been pretty nice we also use the simple human soap dispensers in here and as you'll notice we've got you know shampoo conditioner body wash and then I've got some face things down here just because there's not a ton of room in here we've opted to both use the same products versus you know Billy having his stuff and me having mine it just it limits the amount of like things stuff that are sitting, stuff that's sitting here so um the only thing I would say I love the simple human stuff it's really nice we mounted this um initially with the adhesive it came with we also then traveled with it a couple times with these still attached and it fell off. So what we then did is we remounted, these just easily come off. Um, we remounted this plate with some VHB strips. And then on travel days, I take all of these down and I just put them in a container on the floor. Um, just cause there's no reason to have this extra weight. And ever since then it's never come off. Um, and then these just get filled from the top. The only thing I would say is that they can be a little temperamental depending upon how thick your like if it's conditioner or body wash sometimes it'll clog up on the ends but um otherwise this has worked out great we also use these scrubbies i think they're made by boy b-o-i-e we'll put the link in the description too 
but these are just nice scrubbies because they um, they work great but then you also don't have other things hanging they just stick right to the wall I think I actually got this from Lily's organizing too so um, these have been really nice um, what else in here mushroom the little mushroom stopper. thing stopper I'll move so yeah um, where'd you find that at Amazon yeah, so that mushroom stopper has not only fit perfect in there, but it has done the best job of collecting hair compared yeah, to any really of the well. other kind of drain plugs that we've found. All right, and one of the last things we've done, these command hooks, like I said, we have one in there for the jewelry, but then we put another one out here so that when we're taking a shower, we can just throw one of our towels here um, just to have it handy. The pneumatics ones have like a little loop so it makes it really easy. And then it also doubles sometimes like if we're coming in outside and it's been cold and we've had a jacket on, it's a coat hook too. So point is that things can be multi-purpose, multifunctional as much as possible. All right, so that's tour of our bathroom. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's not very long, it's not a very big bathroom. But anyway, hopefully you guys took away a couple tips. If anything, eat more gelato save your containers. But if you like this video or if you like RV cooking, other tech tips, other explorations, then please subscribe. See you guys next week. All right, so that's the tour of our... <laughs> I can't even say it.